Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Okay. The day us Tommy Johansson fans have been waiting for. Bohemian Rhapsody by Tommy. Come on. How could it get better? This should be something special. He had taken some time off. He was probably touring, but he was releasing videos like a champ, man. And he took a bit of time, and I'm wondering it's because he was trying to put this together. This is a big feat. There's a lot going on in this track. And I'm excited to check it out. I hope you were too if you've already seen it. And if you haven't, let's do it together. Let's jump into this. This is going to be good. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide. No escape from reality. Open your eyes. Look out to the sky. and see. second this is really good I'm enjoying this a lot of layers in the beginning there that was interesting I must have taken a while when he sings mama for the first time that line has to suck you into the track it's a pivotal point in this arrangement here and I think he was very effective at that I'm absorbed I'm ready so I'm wondering if you guys are feeling the same thing right now, but that, that mama, that first one, because it's so deep, mama, you know, it's a scream, and it sucks you, so anyway. Too late, my time has come, send shivers down my spine. Okay, this, I, I usually don't stop stuff this much, but I love this track. So this is the emotional part of the song. And so I'm wondering, is there's emotion coming across? It's difficult. I'm such a big Queen and Freddie Mercury fan that I think that uh, Freddie Mercury for this little bit here was more emotional in the way he sang it. Just, you know, I've got to go, I've got to go. So are you feeling the emotion? Because that's what this part's about. Gotta leave.
see a little silhouette of a man. Can a mosh, can a mosh, will you do the fandango? Tommy's channel if you don't. That was really, really good. I love the latter half of the song. He started putting more of his own touches on it and changing a little bit from the original. I loved what he did. I think it was obvious in my reactions. It was neat. I guess this is my new thing. I don't know. Do I do that a lot? I, I, I caught myself the second time. I'm like, why do I keep doing the gun fingers? But I guess the gun fingers are a good thing in my world. I, I uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. You know, it's very difficult when you're going to do a cover song to Freddie Mercury. You, you're, I just did another one by a band called Dua 19, and they, I didn't think they even touched the mark. I think that Tommy was right there, man. He, I think he did an awesome version. And I think to answer my own question in the beginning, yeah, this dude spent a lot of time on putting this track together, man. I don't think this was just a cover. This was a definite homage when you take that much time to layer so many things. But he did a fantastic job. I mean, it was really, really, really good. I hope this becomes his most popular video on his channel because it, it was a tour de force. It was something really special. Tommy hit a home run. That was awesome. I hoped you guys liked it as much as me. I'm assuming almost all of you are Queen fans. And... How could you not be so? Tommy clearly is. That was great. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's of course, Joel Rody. I'll see you guys on the next one.